Tuesday, August 1st, 2023. There was a flurry of activity in the Indiana Convention Center. The annual Gen Con convention was about to be underway. This was one day before the start of the regular convention. It mainly consisted of vendors, publishers, media, and other people in the industry being there as everything was being set up. Through all this commotion, it was not unusual to see a bunch of merchandise be moved around throughout the convention center's exhibit halls. There were two men that were there who were not much unlike anyone else at the convention. They were there to promote a game of theirs that had been around for a few years, and as they were there, they saw something. They saw a pallet jack not just a pallet jack, a pallet jack with a pallet, and not just a pallet, a pallet of boxes. Boxes full of cards, hard trading game cards. And this pallet was just sitting unguarded, unwatched, just there out in the open. Now, many of us have seen a thing out in the open like this and thought to ourselves, I could just take that, I could run away and no one would see me take it. But we don't. Why don't we? Well, maybe because we're good people, but maybe because we're like, no, surely it couldn't be that easy to simply grab it and leave with it. But these two men, these board game creators, now turned potential thieves, see this palette and think, we know we can take it. We don't know exactly what the thought process was. We don't know who got the idea or why they decided to do it the way that they did, but they went to the pallet jack and they took the pallet jack. They take the cards. They leave the exhibit hall with it. At some point, they move merchandise off of the pallet jack and onto a cart that would be easier to pull around, but they leave the exhibit hall. They go through the lobby, through the skywalk, and into the parking garage where they load the merchandise into their vehicle and they leave with it. They have taken $300,000 worth of merchandise from Gen Con. They have stolen it and they leave the convention knowing that they had pulled off the big heist and that they were not going to be caught. They got caught. So this is a little bit different video than what I normally make. We're making a video about a crime that happened. A crime about $300,000 worth of card trading game cards that were stolen from Gen Con. Now this ended up being big news. This happened the day before Gen Con was opened up to the general public. Uh, the news of this got out and there was quite a buzz around it because yeah, you don't normally have like that much stuff just swiped and taken out of, uh, just taken out of Gen Con quite that brazenly. And the initial rumors that were going around about it were kind of crazy because there was a trading card game that made its premiere at Gen Con that year. Like it wasn't out yet in retail. The only place that you could have gotten this game yet was at Gen Con. And that game was Disney Lorcana. And there was a lot of buzz about Disney Lorcana. Okay, there were signs and advertisements around everywhere for it. Everybody was talking about it. There were crazy lines to be able to get this stuff, to be able to play it. People were going crazy about it. I mean, all kinds of weird people, just crazy people, insane people going insane about Lorcana. And the rumors came out that this was Lorcana cards that had been stolen on this pallet. And that kind of started 
a little bit of a mini panic because there was already kind of a crazy run happening on these Lorcana cards. And honestly, um, they were barely being able to control um, the lines that were forming to get through these and be able to uh, keep that all under control. And um, the concern got crazy enough about it that Ravensburger, the uh, publisher of Disney Lorcana, had to put out a, a statement saying that it was not their stuff. It was not Lorcana. Please stop panicking. Our cards are okay. Because you got to understand that, you know, potentially $300,000, and, and this is like just like retail of it. They're not like value of the cards there because the cards rare cards can get like stupid values on them Card this, this one sold for, for 910 sold for 910 dollars. sold for 910 dollars yes. recently people are so stupid <laughs> <laughs> that's right and those things can go crazy and potentially that many cards uh, disappearing what that would do to the value of the cards and what everyone was doing with them it would it would just make the whole market for Lorcana go nuts. And so they announced it was not Lorcana, just to keep people from panicking. Um, we did get some pictures and things that came out of the, um, the potential thieves. And uh, before I go into a little bit more about the thieves here, I do want to point out that um, we do have like a presumption of innocence um, in this country, but that is for like the uh, legal system, that the legal system has to assume that these guys are innocent and has to um, have enough evidence to prove them guilty and the, uh, and the legal system has to treat them accordingly. However, the general public can form whatever opinions they want on people and looking at the evidence that is out there against these two guys, yeah, these guys are guilty. So who are these two guys? Well, let's take a look at these guys. These guys are Thomas J. Dunbar, also known as T.J. Dunbar, and Andrew Pearson, I don't know how to pronounce that name, Guam? I, I, I don't know how it's pronounced, but you know, he goes by Pearson, Pearson Guam. The two of them had, um, a game that they had designed um, had gone on a Kickstarter in 2015. Now this game was Castle Assault, which is kind of like a dueling game, a two-player dueling game, although apparently has like a one-player mode in it. And they were there uh, to promote and sell that game when they saw the pallet jack of stuff sitting there and decided to swipe it. But like swiping a whole pallet of stuff that is like a whole nother thing there and so these two guys here on Dunbar and Guam they they allegedly um, <laughs> allegedly took the um, the cart there and you can see these great pictures here of them taking it um, they took the um, pallet jack they moved stuff over to a red cart at some point they had to go through the lobby of the convention center because they went through the skywalks um because i'm recognizing you know what these skywalks look like and they went into one of the parking garages um and loaded up in their vehicle from there um now what's great about this here let's look at these guys here on this these two criminal masterminds what what is on the back of this guy's shirt what is, what is this here? Oh, that is a Castle Assault t-shirt. Yes. During their great crime spree that they did here, they wore, um, one of them wore a shirt for their game that they made. Like, yeah, they wore the t-shirt for their game. And yes, they didn't walk by any people that, that caught them, but they like went through like all the convention area, like through the lobby, through the skywalks. There's cameras, dudes. There's like, there's like cameras all over the place. There's security cameras. What, what, what are y'all doing? What, what are y'all doing? Did you think there weren't going to be security cameras? And of course, this has like become pretty big news here. Um, and it's kind of weird what all is on it there because you've got like local media out of Indianapolis that's reporting on it, the, the local TV stations there. Um, it's on their news because it's a 
pretty big local story. And Metro Police say charges could be filed against two people accused of stealing collector's cards from Gen Con earlier this month. Police say they are no longer looking for the two New Yorkers linked to the theft. The media says $300,000 worth of gaming cards stolen at Gen Con here in Indy are heading back to our city. The police in New York helped collect those cards and this video allegedly shows the theft that went down back on August 1st. IMPD says the Marion County prosecutor is now expected to file charges of theft in the case. But you've also got like a bunch of like board game related sites like Dice Breaker that is covering this thing because it's just gotten crazy enough. It's gone everywhere. Um, so what ended up being in this pallet? Well, this ended up, um, they contained booster packs for um, a more expensive uh, Magic the Gathering set, the uh, Magic the Gathering Commander Masters set. Uh, this apparently, this um, these sets apparently contain some highly sought after cards that were selling for a lot. I have decided to not get into the money pit that is Magic the Gathering and have stayed out of that and Lorcana. I mean, they were trying to explain this stuff to me, and uh, the last time I got into something like that, it was crypto, and I, I like lost all my money. I didn't really lose my money in crypto. That's a joke. It wasn't real at all. Why would anyone think it's real? <laughs> That'd be stupid to lose all your money in crypto. I mean, come on. That'd be, that'd be stupid. <laughs> but anyway, they have caught these guys, recovered the cards in New York, um, and so they were going to be sent back to India's evidence um, to be used against them. And, you know, this is not, not good. Not good stuff there. I mean, I think just, just like all the photos and video they got of these guys by the by the cameras and so yeah what has happened to um castle assault well we can go over to uh, board game geek and take a look at it over there and it looks like folks have taken to review bombing castle assault because you can look at the ratings here and it has got a big stack of one ratings on it so yeah, everybody like just slamming this game. Um, it looks like it's had somewhere around like a 6.3 rating or something. And so you get like a lot of great reviews out there like, Can't steal magic in game, false advertising. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. I don't recommend they might steal your money. Go directly to jail. <laughs> Oh, man. This one giving it a 10, saying props for unique game promotion. Well, there is definitely something to that. I mean, I had not heard of Castle Assault uh, prior to this incident. So, anyway, yeah. Uh, just a crazy thing that happened here. Um, I think the big moral you can get out of this is don't steal stuff from Gen Con because they actually are watching it apparently and it's not just sitting out there for the taking. So anyway, if you found any of this video interesting, you could give it a thumbs up. Um, I don't know how often um, videos like this will come out because this is a pretty crazy story that doesn't happen a whole lot. Um, but go ahead and take a look at the um, other videos I have on my channel, leave any comments you have about this whole thing down into here. And uh, you can go and subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you catch all of my videos so you don't miss anything. This is Jeremy uh, Poindexter G here at To The Tabletop, and we'll see you around next time.